Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation root x times root x times root x plus uh, root x is equal to 10. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. First of all, we suppose that uh, this uh, root x is equal to m. Let root x is equal to m. We substitute m in this equation, then this equation will become m times m times m plus uh, m is equal to 10. Now, this uh, m times m times m will become m cube plus m is equal to this uh, 10 can be written as 8 plus 2. Now, because this 8, this 8 is a cube of 2. So, we write this 8 with this m cubed and we write this plus 2 with this m. Like this m cubed minus 8 plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus we write this 8 as 2 cubed plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this uh, m cubed minus 2 cubed will become m minus 2 times m squared plus uh, 2 times m plus uh, 2 squared or 4. And from these two terms uh, plus m minus 2, we can factor out plus 1. Plus 1 as common factor and in bracket left m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this expression m minus 2, this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2 and in bracket left this m squared plus 2 m plus 4 and this plus 1. In bracket left m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m this 4 plus 1 will become plus 5 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 2 times m plus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 2. And from this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 5. And according to quadratic formula, m is equal to negative value of b is 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write 2 squared minus 4 times in place of a, we write 1 times in place of c, we write 5 divided by 2 times in place of a, we write 1. And m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 20 divided by 2 times 1 2 next m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this 4 minus 20 is negative 16 divided by 2 next m is equal to negative 2 plus minus this square root of uh, negative 16 can be written as square root of 16 times 
square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and m is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 16 is 4 and square root of negative 1 is i divided by 2. Next m is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2, 2 as common factor and in bracket left negative 1 plus minus 2i divided by 2. Now these two will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get the value of m is equal to negative 1 plus minus 2i. And first we found the value of m is equal to first we found value of m2 first we found the value of m2 so we have value of m2 and m is equal to negative 1 plus minus 2i now to find the values of x recall that we have supposed We have supposed that root x is equal to m. We have supposed that square root of x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 2, then this equation will become square root of x is equal to 2. And from here, we take square of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to 2 squared is 4. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to negative 1 plus minus 2i, then this equation will become square root of x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 2 i. Now, from here we take square of both sides of this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and x will be equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus minus 2 a b plus b squared. This negative 1 plus minus 2 i whole squared will become negative 1 squared plus minus 2 times negative 1 times 2 i plus 2 i squared. Next, x is equal to negative 1 squared is positive 1 and plus minus 2 times negative 1 times 2i will become negative plus 4i plus this 2i squared is 4i squared. Next, x is equal to 1 negative plus 4i plus 4 time. Now, this uh, i squared i squared is equal to negative 1. So, we replace this i squared with uh, negative 1. X, x is equal to 1 negative plus 4 uh, i and plus 4 times negative 1 negative 4. And x is equal to this uh, 1 minus 4 will become negative 3 minus plus 4 i. So, from here we get two values of x, x 2 is equal to negative 3 plus 4 i and x 3 is equal to negative 3 minus 4 i and first we found the value of x 1 x 1 is equal to 4. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.